What's up, fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs? It's your self-proclaimed cinema shogun here. And earlier, when The Cause of Death was released, I told you all that I thought we would be in for a crazy week ahead of us. Not only do I think we will get some crazy developments in this case, but I feel like we are going to see some of the craziest scenes that we have seen thus far taking place outside of the laundry house. I know that when The Cause of Death got released, it was going to cause a lot of people to get angry. It was going to cause a lot of people who, ha who are already on edge to go overboard. And if you thought that we saw crazy things happening outside the laundry laundry's house beforehand, just imagine how bad it's going to be now, now that people know the cause of death. And basically, we, we've we gotten the information that we need to basically tell us for a fact that Brian did it. Now, he hasn't been charged with anything, and I understand that. But we all have our assumptions, and I'm pretty sure all fingers point towards Brian. But after this cause of death was released, it just made it even more clear. And I felt like it's going to get a lot of people upset. And apparently, there are some very upset people outside of the laundry's home right now banging on their doors screaming and they're taking it to another level that we haven't seen thus far i know protesters have been outside the home for weeks now yelling and screaming at you know on bullhorns this and the third but they've done it from the street right now there appear, appears to be people on their property looking through their windows and banging on their door let's take a look at it one real quick So yeah, as you see, there are definitely a crazy scene taking place outside of the Laundry's home tonight. After this happened, Chris Laundry did come outside and he locked the screen door. And then he returned to the porch one more time, looked around a little bit, and then the police arrived. So they did call the authorities, but I'm going to let you guys know right now, I don't encourage this type of behavior. I don't like the Laundry's. I know you all don't like the Laundry's, but I wouldn't recommend for anyone to go on anyone's property and do anything like this. Um, this is Florida, and I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it here again. You're likely to get shot for doing something like this, and in all honesty, with the laws in Florida, you going and banging on someone's door and making them feel threatened on their own property, if they shoot you, they'll probably get away with it. So I'm just recommending that people don't do things like this, I don't know if the laundries own any firearms or anything like that. But when he came out on the porch, I'm pretty sure he was kind of disgruntled. And in my opinion, for him to even come outside after something like this just happened, he was probably armed. I would assume that he's probably armed. He's an outdoorsy guy. He's living in Florida. Everyone has guns down south, okay? I live down south. I've said it before. I know how things operate down here. Everyone needs to be really careful. The protests have already gotten crazy, you know, before. And, you know, with just with the people in the streets, I don't think we need to take it up to their property and be banging on their doors and looking through their windows and things like that because I just feel like someone's going to get hurt. In the long run, someone's going to get hurt, and we don't need any more people hurt from this situation. But 
Like I told y'all before, I believe the scenes are going to start getting crazier. People were already on edge with this case, and now that we know the cause of death, people are even more enraged. So I expect to see a lot of public outrage this week. And the, the regular protesters who are usually there haven't even gotten back there yet, but supposedly they're on their way back there now. So just, I'm not sure where it's going to go from here, but I will be covering all the craziness right here on this channel. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and as always, find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.